Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about how to measure the performance indices, the performance indices like IAE, ISE, ITAE, ITSE. So these are the performance indices used in the control system to measure the system behavior. Okay. So how we can measure that ISE? IAE, ITAE and ITSC in Simlink model. So for that I am going to take one transfer function. So normally this kind of performance indices going to be measured for controller. Okay. So you are going to use any controller in closed loop. Okay. In order to check the system that means controller performance. So in order to compare the controller performance that means different controller performance. So this perf these performance indices should be measured and compared. Then only you can find out which controller having good response. Okay. So here I'm going to take this transfer function and I'm going to use the second order system transfer function. And I'm going to use feedback control. Just I'm going to use PID controller. PID controller here. And I'm going to connect this one the output of PID and then I'm going to use negative feedback concept. So just here I'm going to use feedback. I'm taking the response from the plant. So this is second order plant and here I'm going to change plus minus. So this is an example system. Okay. So you can apply any system as your uh, requirement or your application. Okay. So here I'm going to measure scope detail that means output of this plant so i'm going to measure this output output so here i'm going to have that uh, stop time is 100 so i'm i'm not tuning anything in this pad controller just i'm going to take this model for a example purpose only okay just you got to check the response so here you will see that this is a response from the plant okay so here we, you can measure uh, overshoot undershoot so by using this file uh, by a level measurement okay so here you will see that right you can measure overshoot undershoot everything and then you can measure the settling time also just you have to take 25 second and then you can measure the settling time okay or should undershoot settling time but you cannot measure IAC, IAE, ITAE and ITSC okay so how we can measure that performance indices IAE, ICE okay so for that here you see that this is a error so if you want to measure IAE right so IAE nothing but the integral of absolute error so just you go to use, use integrator and then you can use absolute bug so input for this bug will be error then if you want to measure that IAE put that workspace block okay and then here you have to name it as IAE and change to array and then you take 2D array okay so next we move with, move with the ISC integral of squared error. So same you take integrator and then take square and connect same error input and then just you save to ISE and then you go with the IT a integral of time multiplied absolute error. Okay integration and then here you have to take product so one input will be absolute error okay so just you have to take this one absolute block and then input will be error so another input will be clock okay just you have to use clock input just you have to connect this one then you have to connect to it integral of 
टाइम मल्टीप्लेड अब्सल्यूट एरर सो नेक्स्ट इंटग्रल टाइम मल्टीप्लेड स्क्वायर एडर सो जस्ट गो टू स्क्वायर ब्लॉक एंड देन इंटग्रेटर एंड देन यू टेक प्रोडक्ट जस्ट यू कनेक्ट दिस वन एंड कनेक्ट दिस एरर एंड कनेक्ट दिस क्लॉक इनपुट एंड देन हियर यू कैन सेव दिस डिटेल टू एक्सपीस आई टी एस सी ओके इंटग्रल टाइम मल्टीप्लाइड विथ स्क्वायर एरर ओके so now i am going to simulate this model okay so the after simulating this model you can see the response in the scope also so here i am going to take scope and then i am going to use configuration property and number of input will be 4 okay so here you can measure that uh, that mean you can see the detail of iae ISE, ITAE, and then ITSE. Okay. So now I'm going to simulate this model. So here you see that. So this is a response of uh, different. I'm going to use legend. the first one is so just i'm going to rename it it uh, iae isc and then this is it ae and this is it sc sorry it sc just i'm going to resimulate it so here you will see that right the yellow one is iae and blue is isc and then red one is itae and then green is itsc okay so this is a response of the different performance indices if you want to have only one value right so it is this is a collection of that iae ic with respect to time if you want to take only one value right it go comes to here out and then you can take this value and then you have to take one by one okay otherwise you take formula here okay i am going to write one formula once again so here i am going to write one formula mean mean of out dot iae okay so now you will see that value of the overall iae value okay 2.2649 that mean we are going to take the average value for that collected data of iae so same way you can calculate the value for iac also isc and then you can calculate the value for itsc and then you can calculate the value for ie itae okay so these are the value we calculated for iae isc and then itsc and the itae okay so based upon this we can check the performance of the controller okay different controller in place of this pid controller you can use passive pid controller or fuzzy logic controller or any other controller right so you can measure the error and then you can calculate the this performance perf uh, performance indices and then you can compare the this performance indices with the different controller so this is a way of calculating iea isc and uh, itae and the uh, different performance indices in the sumlink model so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye